Hi, this is Dan O'Connor, and this is part of the ongoing construction of my Jap traditional Japanese kajibar, sword forge. This part we're going to talk about uh, Finn. Now, Finn is my hybrid, mm, I guess you call it tire, traditional spring, Japanese, Japanese spring hammer. As uh, far as I know, it's the only one like it in the world. I got ideas off the internet and built it. For one thing, I'd like to thank Pierre Nadeau in his uh, blog and website, uh, Soulsmithing. He made a tour of his uh, shop, and in his shop he had some great video of his spring hammer. I must have watched that video, oh, a hundred times. Back it up, look at it, see how it's gone. So we're going to take a tour and kind of see how it all works and then when it's all done we will uh, we'll see how it works. So. so here's an overview of it. As you can see there's uh, still con some construction that needs to be done uh, here in the, the sword forge. But let's, let's concentrate on the spring hammer. First of all let's look at the foot pedal. You can see the iron bars going down, one on each side, down to the bottom, it goes all the way across. Uh, as you can see, I'm working in a pit, and more about that later. Uh, the top is 110 pounds, a pre-hardened 4140. Hammer head is the same that I uh, bolted, drilled and tapped and bolted it on. Uh, the anvil is simply uh, cut up pieces of steel I've had laying around for the last 20 years and you use what you got. Uh, bolt, you can see it's bolted down to a concrete pad. Pad's about four feet into the ground. Uh, springs that are holding up the weight of the of the arms and the uh, foot pedal. The uh, guide is a piece of bearing bronze that I got from uh, Keith Sturm at KBK. Uh, he was kind enough to let me use his lathe to uh, bore out the uh, aluminum bronze he gave me, plus turn the top. A little bit better view of the spring, and then the uh, strap that goes in between. I had the spring custom made in Dallas. And you can see the connection is simply a pillow block on an inch and a half bar goes up to the pitman arm then it goes up to another pillow block that's attached to kind of a cobbled together attachment to the tire arm. I had a lot of half inch steel around so I cut it up, welded it up, uh, bolted everything together. Simply an A-frame angle iron three inch by quarter inch. Uh, the guide is a uh, bearing plastic in a T-shape that makes it go straight up and down. Uh, you can see the some of the bracing and the steel uh, bolted together. Here we have the uh, arms that go from the uh, foot pedal arms all the way up to the motor mount and the springs that hold it. The motor is attached by pulley to a shaft. I have a cast iron flywheel to give it a little bit of inertia. I originally had the motor di coupled directly uh, to the drive wheel that drove the uh, tire. Didn't like it. So I made this flywheel. Not sure this uh, flywheel made for replica steam engines is meant to turn 1750 RPM. But that's pretty much the way it is. Let's get focused here, pull back. Just a couple of pillar blocks for the shaft. Right here. And then a cast in drive wheel that's pressed and bolted on to the shaft. And then of course the tire. Uh, springs hold the mechanism up, this plate is, uh, if you can see it or not, you can't really see it, there's a hinge point in there. So when I pull down on it, this drive shaft 
contacts the wheel. And just a little more uh, view of the connection of the pillow block and the shaft and bolted to the spring. So that's pretty much it. You want to see it run? Yeah, me too. You can see the forge is ready to go. The fuego or box bellows is hooked up. Uh, we'll talk more about that at another time. It's been 103 all this week. I haven't been ready to fire it up. So uh, we'll talk about the forge in another video. So you can see that piece of wood over there. Uh, we're going to use that as, uh, as a piece to, to be uh, struck by the hammer. Oh, and just laying here is some uh, or shigami I made out of the nails here a while back uh, using a different setup for the forge. So here we go. Uh, you can work this standing up or I like to work it sitting down. Uh, I can work my forge this way, turn, and move here. Like I said, we're going to use some piece of wood. Put it under here. Get it going. Turn about three beats a second. You can throw it down. And speed it up. shot of the mechanism working. I hope you can see the tire and the uh, and the uh, flex going on in the strap. So that's it boys and girls, uh, this weekend uh, it's going to cool off, it's been, like I said it's been 103, 105 this week, uh, looking at 85, 80 degrees this weekend, so it looks like we're going to have some fire and hot metal this weekend and pounding on with the hammer. So uh, until next time, see you later.